Well, hello everyone. This is Benjamin. I thought I would go over my network uh, to show everyone what it is. It's uh, it's a pretty basic network, and I must uh, come up front and say that uh, the first video that I made is it's not a uh, I forgot what I said was, but it's called a Scozia. Is what it's called. It's uh, out of German. It's out of Germany, and uh, it's a pretty neat little PBX. I just was playing with it. Finally got it working a couple days ago. And uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, it's actually pretty simple to get installed. I just was making one simple little error and now it's installed. And uh, it works pretty neat. It really does. But anyways, my basic configuration is just a uh, cable modem from the ISP. Just a cheesy little thing that you see right there. Nothing special. And then under my desk, it goes to this uh, thin client, which is turned into a router. That thin client's got a, uh, I believe it has a 1000 megahertz processor in it, 256 megs of RAM and 256 megs of flash, which is complete and absolute overkill for it. So, but this router right here, it hosts uh, three VLANs. I have the one for the computers in the house. I have another one for the VYP PBXs. And I have a third one, which is uh, aptly named uh, VLAN 360 for uh, my gaming network in the house it goes there back to you see the big mess of wires to a Cisco 2950 switch which has those uh, VLANs on there and uh, after about five hours of doing the wrong thing and actually reading the book I learned how to do that and the uh, having the separate VLANs works out pretty well matter of fact uh, I do like that a lot better so that way the game systems can do whatever they want to do without bothering the rest of the network I got my little uh, network of uh, uh, UPS is there. There's uh, three of them. There's two uh, 250 watt ones on the top and one 400 watt one on the bottom, but that's about to get replaced with another one. The uh, computer right there with a security knob on the top. I bought that off eBay uh, in 2008, and that's a uh, P4 1.8 gig with 768 megs of RAM, 20 gig hard drive, and that runs Trixbox with uh, CentOS 5, and that uh, runs DHCP and it was running uh, the firewall and all that stuff until I got this uh, this one right here running this. Anyways, um, with uh, that, the that Trix box is currently supporting four VoIP phones in the house, plus uh, a simple IVR system that I put onto it, plus voicemail, and uh, can also receive faxes. This uh, this is the this little unit right here, the little HP. That's run, the one running the Escozia that's, uh, that's in testing right there. And as you can see from the mess of my desk, uh, with receipts and junk everywhere, the ham radio, I've been pretty busy. The 7940 phone, that's the one on the Trix box. And this one right here, the 7905, that one is running off of uh, off the, off the Escozia. And that was kind of neat to get that running. Over here is the printer. The uh, little Samsung uh, small quiet light color laser printer, which is running off this uh, little box, uh, clumsy D-Link box, which is kind of slow to print, and that's about to get replaced here soon. The uh, I have a server here, which is off an old Dell laptop that uh, somehow fell down the stairs, but anyways, it's got an AMD processor in it, uh, 60 gig, I'm sorry, 40 gig hard drive, 512 megs of RAM, but that does what I need it to do. It has the... Uh, um, it's connected to these two USB or Western digital hard drives. One is a terabyte and the other one is a terabyte and a half. And that uh, is pretty much my central location. This particular server runs uh, NFS, uh, Samba. Not, uh, yes, it's Samba for the Windows file sharing. And um, also the iTunes and DLNA server for all the other stuff. And of course there's the, uh, my prize, the... Uh, network uh the digital center which is kind of a neat kind of a neat toy and my other room is running a uh, other black only laser printer with uh, uh running off a laptop that runs uh ubuntu 8.10 with a uh, printer server also a uh, file share on that one as well and uh that's probably going to get expanded on here soon it's probably going to have the other laser printer on there but that's it i hope you enjoyed leave comments if you like or send me a message thanks